Matt Ross. And this is my day in the life with Tommy John Rehab. So I always start off the morning with a few eggs and always with a couple cups of coffee. There we are, a few eggs, a couple pieces of toast, see how that goes. Yeah, this is my usual daily routine. Wake up uh, between eight, nine, today was a little later. You know, pour myself a cup of coffee, um, make three to four eggs, a few pieces of toast. It's usually how I try to start my day off because I think daily routine is really important. Today is Monday, so on Mondays, I drive to Pittsburgh to go do physical therapy with my therapist, and it's also a lifting day lifting you know it's mainly ab work just some light light stuff to get my body moving ready to go so that's what we'll do today but for now i'm gonna eat i'm gonna read i'm gonna read the arm you know probably read a chapter and then i'll see you in the car but on my way to pittsburgh right now it's about hour 30 hour 40 minute drive so i do this every monday I got a really good therapist, so you know, I just like to go get some new exercises. Today, I don't think I'm gonna get any new exercises, but um, you know, help me stretch my arm out. I'm seven weeks out of surgery but last week, so week six is a lot of straighten my arm out for the first time, so that felt pretty weird. Yeah, it's it's honestly uh, it's the weirdest feeling, like when you get out of your cast after two weeks, you literally feel like you just have a little baby arm. Kind of, it's really weird, like it's, it feels brand new. You don't really want to move it. So when I first got my brace on here, I kept it locked here at 90 degrees, just like it was in the cast. Or, and I just, uh, <laughs> I was really scared to use it, move it around even though I was allowed to. But even now, like seven weeks out, I'm still a little bit scared to, to use it. I've been using it more, I've been feeling more confident with it. But yeah, it's like honestly, I'm pretty, pretty scared to keep using it. You know, or just use it. Honestly, it's not too bad. Right now, the therapy is it's a little, it's longer than it was, you know, the past few weeks. You know, the past few weeks, it's just kind of like, just a little bit like some wrist stuff with a band, really light resistance stuff, just, or just straight up even moving my arm up and down. That was part of the PT. It's loosening it up. But now I'm getting into J bands. Um, pound weight lifts like different stuff like that and you know it's it's not super tough but it, it gets a little tiring over time like I do three sets of everything and by the time I get to this third set I'm usually pretty tired but so far it's been really good feeling really good you know, I think I've only had two bad days and those weren't even all that bad it was just kind of my arm kind of felt like a growing pain like the growing pains you get in your knees legs kind of felt like that in my um, my arm which is really strange I didn't like that at all something that's been happening with my elbow recently is it's been popping so sometimes like like it feels caught and so I just extend my arm and it pops and that's really scary because I, I, I feel like it's snapping <laughs> I feel like my UCL is popping because when I tore my UCL um, in May I felt a pop so what happened was um, I was in the seventh inning, there's two outs, I had a no-do count on a kid, tried to just throw a hard pass to him and ended up tying out um, and something popped and I pretty much figured it was my UCL because uh, my forearm tightened up, it felt like a brick, it, it was awful actually, it hurt a lot but you know I just kind of threw through it and I wanted to just keep going and get a complete game out of that. So I threw the two more innings after that. It was, it felt, or it felt whatever. It was just the next couple of days that really were terrible. The next two days I really couldn't move my arm and we were getting into playoffs for the first time ever. And um, I really wanted to throw, though I was trying my best to, to get out there and I was doing some exercises. Um, just, I didn't really tell anybody. I told a few people that, you know, I think I, this happened, but I want, I really wanted to throw. And so I kept trying to throw and it just it hurt so much. I think the hardest part about this is they took my hamstring tendon, it's 
right on my knee. And that was awful the first couple of weeks. <laughs> I couldn't walk for a few days without tons of pain. It was just sore, tight. I had to take my arm and lift it onto the couch. Um, so I slept on the couch for the first two weeks after surgery. I just, it was bad. And now it's, it's getting better now, seven weeks out. But it's still like, can't really run. It, I don't know, it, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how much is too much. I don't really know. They pretty much said that like, if it looks healed, you know, after the scabbing and everything, like I can start lifting and it's good to go. So I have been, like you'll see today, biking, fixed intervals of biking, um, and then some bodyweight squats. So I'm not trying to push anything. You know, I want to come back 100% when I'm clear. So I'm trying not to do too much, trying not to push it too much. What everyone's been telling me, just listen to the doctors. So that's what I'm trying to do. Hopefully it works out. Yeah, it will work out. Today should be a good day. Just gonna get after it. University of Pittsburgh um, practice. We got a bunch of practice fields, um, indoor facility. It's really cool over right there. I don't know why they made me do this. It's a little ticket, and then I just turn it in and get a coin so I can get out, and it's all free. Man, it's packed today. Usually I'm at 12 o'clock, but they didn't have any 12 o'clock slots. So I'm at. Let's get after it. Did the therapy. Um, didn't really film in there. It wasn't really loud. Um, overall, went really well. I, two, I think two more, two more exercises, three more exercises. Uh, were pretty tough. Uh, with some weights. Um, but you know, feeling good. Got ice up. Now time to head home. Point so I can get out of this place. Monday, I go to Pittsburgh, go to my therapist. Um, every other day, I have a place I go where I can just get it done. It takes me like, you know, about an hour. Pulling in the driveway now, just got home. Gotta get some, some food in me, some peanut butter sandwiches, and then get after it. I got my peanut butter sandwich. My bang, rosé, rosé. Ready to go, let's do this. I always say, you've had a long day, bang, rosé, rosé. In the gym. Yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> Finish my biking interval, kick my butt. Uh, now, I'm, now time for abs. I'm gonna go home, I'll eat some dinner, get a protein shake, um, and then maybe read. But that's, that's 
that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for joining me. And I'll see you in the next video.